Welcome to the planning and company navigation section of our entrepreneurship course. Now, you won't get very far in Silicon Valley without a business plan. Your business plan needs to cover some very important points and your startup will need to be at a certain position and have achieved certain milestones before you're suitable for venture capital financing. There is a, a video here, it's a slideshow called Top 10 Tips for Forming a, a Fundable Startup. This explains what venture capital investors are looking for when you present them with a business plan. And it does explain that you need to have actually generated some milestones in, before you, you actually, or some momentum, or some interest, assembled a team before you're in position to approach investors. Um, there are various approaches towards building business plans. We here um, interview an expert business plan producer, a writer called Diana Benedict. Um, she spent uh, many years helping Silicon Valley startup companies to prepare their plans and raise venture financing. So there's a good Q&A with Diana Benedict that will be quite useful. We also look at a couple of approaches towards business planning. One is the seven point travel plan. The idea here is that you consider the process as a journey. You figure out where you are now, where you're going, target your destination, figure out a roadmap and identify milestones en route, and then set about making progress, generating momentum along that route. This is the seven point travel plan approach. It is um, something that you could use for any type of planning or in any type of uh, journey. There's a, another model which is um, really kind of a brainstorming model designed to help you figure out your business plans. This is called the business planning, business model canvas. And so we explain that to a certain degree and you'll see that actually you'll find this is becoming um, widely adopted to help uh, companies to figure out their business plans and um, figure out what the most important factors of their business are, the, where the key success factors might be. We then cover a SWOT analysis where you identify the companies. It's kind of a snapshot of the company. You look at its strengths, its weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Identify those things and that can help you plan your strategy and figure out your route ahead. When you're ready to approach a venture capital investor, you're going to need to present them the business plan in a format that they are familiar with and actually they pretty much require. This is an executive summary. It's typically a two to four page document that covers all the essential points that the investors are looking for. So we try to help you understand what that executive summary is, uh, what it looks like. Obviously, then you'll need a slide deck um, to if when you come to present to the investors. You need then some backup slides that you're going to use when they ask you specific questions. You'll need all your financial models and all those things, but initially what you'll be looking at is an executive summary. So. Business planning, this is an important part of being an entrepreneur, an important part of building a successful startup Silicon Valley style, and it's covered in this section of the course. Obviously, as I mentioned before, raising finance and all that goes into interacting with the investors, the whole process is covered in another course called Raising Finance. <laughs>